We've finished field tuning our car mercury antenna. It's time to terminate some of the ends with banana plugs and get that heat shrink on. We have some finishing touches to put on our car mercury antenna. These are the two ends of the 40 meter leg. These are the cam jams that I used yesterday in place of using zip ties. And wow, what a difference. This is how I'm always going to adjust wire antennas in the field for the future. We're going to do the same thing on both legs. I'm only going to show you on one and then you would repeat the same thing for the other. I placed a mark with a Sharpie pen on my wire where I want the loop to be so that when I pull it out of the cam jam, it's easy for me to find where I want my loop to be. Chuck KK6 USY shows how to put a wire loop in this and make it look extraordinarily professional. I happen to have a crimp tool, so I'm going to use a crimp tool because I have it. I'm also going to put some blue shrink wrap on the end of this wire because as I wrap this on my winder, I want to quickly be able to find my end of my wire and that blue will be easy to find up against the orange wire. First up, let's put the shrink tubing on. Then thread my crimp through. Back through again. And right here is the line that I put on with the Sharpie. Let's go ahead and crimp this first, and then we will do the shrink tubing. That's where I'm going to want to do my crimp. Perfect. All right, I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of that wire off. Let's pull our shrink tubing up that direction. I like that. You know what happens now. Let our gun heat up. Already we're at temp, and here we go. And now we'll cool down. How about that? That will be very easy to spot on the end of my winder. I'm liking that. We have four links in our dipole, two from the 10 to 20 and two from the 20 to 40. I'm going to show you what to do on one of them and then you would repeat that for all three. I've also put a blue mark on the end of my wire once I remove the cam jam so I know precisely where I want my loop to be. Again, Chuck KK6USY shows you how to tie a knot in this to look incredibly professional. I have the crimp tool, so I'm going to crimp it. And of course, I want them to be symmetrical, looking the same, right? Professional here. So I'm gonna line it up with the one that I pre-crimped before I went out into the field. Perfect. Golden. All right, now we're going to get our banana plugs uh, soldered on the end here of the two wires, and that will allow us to create the link. And uh, I'll do that on the balance of my connections, and then it's a wrap. Speaking of that, we do need to wrap this thing, don't we? We need to put that heat shrink on over top of the toroid. Here are the two ends of our banana plug, the male and the female. The well on these banana plugs is pretty shallow, so I only stripped a little bit of insulation off. I think Chuck's trying to test my soldering ability. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the helping hand set up here and I'll be back to you in a second. You also wanna cut a small piece of shrink tubing 
put that on your wire first, then get your uh, banana plug and ready to solder. Okay, here we go. This might be the most challenging part of this build. Let's see if we can get that filled up with some solder. Okay. Okay, it's actually working pretty good. Wow, that went easier than I thought. Let's let that cool down and then we'll get our shrink tubing on there. All right, I'm gonna put that banana plug in there a little deeper. There we go. Because I didn't want my heat shrink to go too far down. Let's try that. That's nice and toasty blowing right back at me. Okay, that went better than I anticipated with that small well to take the solder. I think we're good. Let's do the other side. We are ready for the second half of the connector. Hopefully it goes as easy as the first half. I'm kind of surprised. Again, that's going much easier than I anticipated. Awesome. Shrink tubing, here we come. Let's give that a minute to cool down. Let's give it a try. Ha <laughs> ha, check that out. Precisely what we were going for. Nice. Pretty 